Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on a very vibrant day. Everything seems to be moving around. Every everyone is asking for quick decisions. You find like you, you're drawn in twenty different directions, and your ideas are just popping through your mind. Trust that. Enjoy it. Uh, it's a vibrant Earth, you can say, a vibrant universe that is just floating around you. So be very, very happy with that. Enjoy that. And really trust your in- intuition more than anything this day. And you'll be blessed for it. And you'll be uh, enjoying your intuition and intuitive faculties that much more. And you will not think that there's some esoteric nonsense that's up there in the you know <laughs> closet or something. And it doesn't affect my daily life. Ask, ask for daily signs more than ever for angelic um you can say, um, I would say for the angels to showcase themselves, okay, so that they, they make a personal relationship with you, be it your guardian angel, be it the archangel who's come forward, archangel Uriel, who is basically known as the glory of God. That's what his name means. Or any form of the angelic forces that you want to connect with or who you want to connect with. Just think of a purpose and call, call an angel forward and then say that I'm, I'm a beginner. I'm a, I'm a child when it comes to the angelic forces and tell me how I recognize that it's you. How do I feel it? How do I know it? So one form of your intuitive faculties will then start to tingle or merge or understand or recognize that there's something different around your environment or within your day you will be alerted to some form of a picture or some form of a photo or you or you will recognize a color and say yes I thought about that this morning you know and and so you will know that the the angels have showcased themselves they're announcing themselves they They're saying hello to you in that sense, you know, introducing themselves. So for introduction to the angelic forces, ask them to do this and you will, you'll be going forward into a brand new form of existence. And it's not just friends you're making with the angelic forces this day. Then you can take this forward and recognize the ascended masters and recognize the elementals and all forms of the divine life. You're opening yourself up in a grand, grand way to the real you. The you you were born as, basically. The divine being you were created as. And so Archangel Uriel has come forward this day looking very, very, it seems to everyone, not not so, you can say, flowery, right? He doesn't look like he's carrying any symbols or anything. It's just very si- simple, and he seems to almost look severe, <laughs> right? Right, rather than than um, what you expect an angelic force to look like. Why he is looking like that? He's saying that you remain focused on who you are, and I want to help you with that. And I want to, you know, coat around you. So that you do not get influenced by external forces or environmental concerns or immediate concerns or immediate problems. Because that's what usually happens with most of us. We just get stuck into problems and never go beyond that. And we never ever get to the point of the grand purpose of life purpose, (laughs) right? You say, let me just finish even just driving my car around and just getting my groceries I'll be very happy if I manage to even do that, right? You don't realize that you've actually accomplished something that someone else has not been able to be, um, is not capable, is, is not been able to do. You can say that, that they've not been able to drive to the grocery store or they don't have the money to buy groceries. So, you know, gratitude, gratitude will be a huge, huge helper and a huge contribution in this day you'll have many reasons to be grateful and if you on purpose choose to be grateful then that reason will actually come forward so that's why this is saying that that thank you Uriel 
for helping me to share my light with the world. That's you, your light, how you connect to the divine, how you bring the divine, how you bring creator's energy, creator's presence onto the planet, just being you. Not thinking that you have to be anything special or anyone special. Also, the other way that you can perceive this statement, see how many ways you can perceive the statement actually this day. It might start as gratitude, that thank you, Uriel, that I can actually do something. And number two, it might be that you choose then to focus only on you for a change. You might be such a giver that you're just always giving and nothing is left for you. No time, no money. And you just think that, why am I always just giving everything away? Why am I so carefree? Why am I such a caregiver and so compassionate? It's not detrimental to be compassionate. You're actually extending love and inviting love back. You do not see that, of course, in practical reality. And you don't realize that how much you've given has actually added to the world. So you can think about that. What you've learned about the law of attraction, how to use it to your benefit. And look into his eyes then, in this image. Whatever it is that you want to, be grateful for how you want to shine your light. You find, want to find a unique way to extend your light forward, to understand a new way of perceiving the light, a new way of expressing yourself. However it is that you want to do that, just look into his eyes and ideas will come forward. So do keep a pen and paper handy and keep on writing it down. And act upon at least one idea this day. Then you will know that you trusted that and you went forward just based on intuition. And that intuition actually worked for you. Now you might say, why is he hold, holding that scepter that seems to be burning away what I, I seem to be bringing forward? No, it's not burning away what you brought forward. It's actually adding to it, amplifying it, you can say making it stronger than when you started out. So if you feel weak anywhere, in any part of life, be it physically, be it emotionally, that no one understands me, or even if you're a spiritual person who's hiding themselves because you think others will not understand your form of spirituality that might be scary to them or something, don't do that. Put it into the fire and ask it then, why is the fire going then into that huge orb of fire behind him, the sunlight? It's being amplified into total angelic and heavenly energy. The light, literally what we say, when we speak here about the message of the day, the light is coming forward. What it is was it what is it saying here right now? Shine your light. That don't hide. Don't shut down. Don't give up. None of these don'ts work for you. I am. The I am statements say as many as you need to. Ten or twenty times this day. The same statement you say, Oh, I'm back to Back to I am abundance. And I keep on saying that, but I don't seem to be abundant. I am abundant. I am financially abundant. Make it more specific for yourself. Then your being, your intuition will recognize it. And finally, think it makes sense. We'll take it seriously. Not just as an esoteric statement, just sent there into the fire and that's it. What does it have to do with me? Keep on asking that every time you do anything related to the light this day, that somewhere or the other in my environment, just give me a sign. Even if it's a warm tingle on my hand, but at least I know that I did something 
That is not just imagination. By the way, imagination is also not a bad thing. Use your imagination actually to create, to clear, and to amplify this day. Maybe you find different ways to use that orb of fire behind Archangel Uriel to bring forward more of the Akashic spaces to you. I now ask you, Archangel Uriel, to be able to shine my heavenly light and the Akashic knowledge for And I was quiet for a moment to allow you to decide. Go back to this several times this day. You'll find different reasons for the different rays of light going forward. Tingling, shining, more excited, ready to do more, to be heard. And it's not to put other people down. There's no reason behind that. Because if you see also, his wings are brown, nurturing, tender. Because angelic force is always tender. But also, this comes to your, again, back to immediate environment. Helping you shine your light. Not as a battle. but just in a relaxed, calm, reflective manner. Because while the vibrancy of this day is very apparent, it is asking you to also be very wise about your choices. And if you see his heart magnet, it's one that almost seems translucent, like it's not, Something that you can really see, right? It's clear, crescent, like the moon. That wisdom is coming forward to no other place but your heart, really. First of all, it doesn't mean that the rest of you is not absorbing it, but you're receiving it very quickly through your feelings this day. Trust that. And if you see then that crescent, Ray, is bringing also the energy of the crystalline world, of clear crystals, of the white light, and is traveling all over him. You're merged, you're protected, you're cared for, you're directed. In every way, you're covered, literally. You're taken care of in whatever form of life. You want to seek this. And this light will ensure that you feel safe and secure in every decision and everything you do. You don't even have to give it a moment's notice beyond this message, really. Just ask Archangel Uriel, really, to merge with your energy. Now you say, I'm not a person who really does angelic therapy, so how do I do this for myself this day? Look back into his eyes every time you need to this day. Because even his hair, though it seems to be like a old man's hair, right? It's filled so much with the light. It's just so burning with heavenly energy, you can say, and the light. In a good way. He's shining. He's excited. He's alive. He's come alive. He's present in every way. This will be you if you also choose to cover your crown chakra in this way. Then your mind and all your thoughts, all the decisions you make, the action steps, how, the how, (laughs) questions that always seem to stop us, the how do I do this and how do I do that. They will help you shine your light. It'll be so easy. Oh, I never saw it that way. I never saw it that way. It might be as simple as a computer software that you decided to learn this day. Learning also will come very, very easy. The learning energy. Enjoy that. Be that. Extend that. 
maybe you are the reason that somebody else learns a certain type of software i'm just giving you computers examples because it's very easy for everyone for practical reality you might learn a new recipe a new way to invite the angels to your side a new way to even make friends with archangel uriel and if you noticed this day i did not tell you what the left wing and the right wing are suggesting what do they suggest to you cuz the immediate thing that came to me in sharing this message with you and when you're shining your light what is it that you want to hold on to in terms of foundation what you really relish whatever form of learning you want to extend how you think you make a difference to this world i mean all the reasons you're really really happy with your life gratitude your gratitude list is right here and we'll keep on, you can keep on adding to it then you don't have to wait till the evening for that and the right side is you extending all you're so excited to share blessings with the world and you don't think about the after effects and what people are going to think of what you're sharing you know it's going forward with love directed by angels it'll all go good but if you are still troubled and still not sure how it will be received whether it will be received whether you should share it all those just burn it away those are fears they'll keep coming up and let them keep coming up that's the way you clear more and more of your space and then if you see the rays of light are traveling over the wings that means whatever steps you're taking these so called esoteric huge steps of life you are covered under the golden white light of archangel uriel and you can ask for that protection what you want to hold on to what is precious to you and what you want to extend that you're afraid to that's okay be afraid but that doesn't mean you have to stay there as a fear filled being you're a divine one come back to that reality come back to your akashic reality ask archangel uriel and archangel raziel is also here with him what is it that i need to really hold on to and secure and be safe just what i need to remember my divine truth that never changes through the ages no matter how much i go up and down on this earth this truth remains flawless i'm loved just as i am i was made with certain talents that i enjoy that maybe others don't help me enjoy those talents and make the best and derive benefit from them and extend that with others because it benefited me so much maybe it adds to someone else's life and is part of my soul group or what i've been sent on this earth to complete and do don't think of it so in such a lofty manner but you will see the difference you make in your immediate environment everything will show up in your immediate environment today what you choose to be or what you choose to accept and what you choose to not i would say reject but change transform transformation very much given to you this day don't sit there and complain and don't feel like a victim in any way so looking into his eyes again that transformation you're doing send it again into that holy fire and what have you chosen in the meantime while all this drama and problems are going on and complaints are going on and reasons for you to deal with stress 
and daily life, if you will. Remove the statements you make about your daily life that are filled with stress. Why do you choose to invite stress just on purpose? You can choose to instead shine your light and just do it mentally. You don't have to be announcing it to anyone. But you choose to be happy. Shining your light is nothing but being happy. That I'm a divine one and I choose to remember that and I choose to enjoy it and use all my talents as much as I can. Whatever comes to me in a day, I use it and enjoy it, relish it and learn from it. So thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. You've given me this opportunity. You're extending your arm. I'm inviting you into my life with my arm, with my feelings, with my beliefs. And we go forward together. And this comes from the Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk and the way the holy fire here, literally the Holy Spirit is burning for you. Burning through the art of Jason McCready. And Jason can be reached at V-E-C-T-R-A-I-T-S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Have a beautiful day shining your light. Bye for now.